you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee, ready to add to his appreciable legacy here tonight. You're not fighting tonight, but I know you're anxious as I am as Conor McGregor returns to the proving ground here tonight. This is the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history and a damn good fighter, too. Let's see what he does here tonight. I have no horse in the race, but the butterflies are kicking my stomach up and down because every time Conor steps into the octagon, it feels like a momentous occasion. Yeah. One of the biggest stars in all of sports. He transcends the sport of mixed martial arts. A guy that has a fantastic left hand. He's very quick. He's a master of, ma of managing distance, managing space, and the speed and the ability, the eyes of Conor McGregor is something that we don't pay enough attention to when we watch him fight. And of course, every time he competes, all eyes are on Conor McGregor, and yet more often than not, he doesn't show up flat on fight night. He rises to the occasion. The Jose Aldo fight certainly mm -hmm. is the one that people will historically talk about, but let's see how it goes in this spot for Conor here tonight. The notorious Conor McGregor. We are set for our main event of the evening. And now our kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the octagon is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the notorious Connor McGregor. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. I mean, John, we got Bruce Lee fighting Conor McGregor, the biggest star of his time, the biggest star of our time. The worlds are colliding. Who's going to get the victory tonight? I am not in the prediction business, but I'll tell you, UFC President Dana White was criticized for not putting this fight together. Some people wondered if he'd ever be able to get these two parties to sign on the dotted line. We are underway with Conor and Bruce Lee. Can't wait to see how it plays out. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. McGregor gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. That was a hard body kick. Another body kick land. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Fast, hard head kick there. A 
Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Does that one appear to stop? Oh. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. to set up that hook again now. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Lee's eye starting to swell. <laughs> with authority, the body. Oh, yeah. huge left. Oh. Nice land there by Conor McGregor. You know, DC, he's got a great frame for this featherweight division. Very long, extended reach, and he uses it pretty well. Works off of that jab beautifully, and he is on point here tonight. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. And now some knees. Lee gets back up. Freak of the knockout here tonight. That's a three check knockout, right? Show money, win money, bonus money. Absolutely, J.A. There's nothing more exciting than a knockout in sport. You don't see it anywhere but mixed martial arts. This young man will celebrate this deep into the night as he should. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 47 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Connor McGregor! All right, so Conor McGregor came in with one of the best knockout ratios in mixed martial arts history, and he adds to his knockout total here tonight. I mean, Conor McGregor is a beast, and that left hand is a weapon of mass destruction. And once again, he got it off, and he landed and got the KO finish.